welcome to Camp 15. This is one of our main training centers here at our Pundundu camp. Follow me for a quick tour. So over here we have our main kitchen where our chefs prepare our delicious plant-based meals for most of our Akashinga ranges and the general IAPF stock. Come on in and take a look. This is the gas stove that our chefs use to prepare some of our delicious plant-based meals. Um, as you can see, it has about seven plates, meaning it keeps our chefs busy and well-equipped to prepare large quantities of meals for everyone in camp to keep them feeling healthy and great before their next patrols. And now we'd like to show you some of our tents here at camp. Most of our tents are located at our different camps and can sleep one or two rangers or some of our visitors when we do have them. So follow me and let's take a look at one of the tents. Most of our tents are quite similar with these zips outside. So you have two zips to close the inside and another one to close the outside. So that should protect you from any creepy crawlies that try to come in your tent. So come on in. Hi, Talent. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. So as you can see, most of our tents will be equipped with two beds in them. So most of the time we can sleep two people in a tent, sometimes one, just depending on how many people we do have in camp and the tents that are available. Each tent will have some sort of a storage cabinet. This one has quite a, a big cabinet and can fit in quite a fair bit of items so you don't have to be lugging them around. And over here we have a favorite feature of mine in a tent because it does get pretty hot in camp. So whenever I'm in a tent and feeling pretty hot, these tent windows are great to have open because they do let in a fair bit of cool air um, during the day. And now I'd like to show you probably one of my most favorite features out here in camp, which is our very own vegetable garden. Over here, we pretty much grow most of the vegetables that we do eat in camp. And I do have to say they are quite delicious. So let's go on and take a look. As you can see, our garden here is no small feature. We have tons of vegetables and herbs that provide nutritional benefits for all our Akashinga ranges and overall IAPF staff. Good nutritional balance is at the core of making sure our rangers are strong, healthy and ready to go out on patrols. So now we're moving on from our garden, where we've just shown you most of the vegetables and herbs that we grow on our own. This is our training area, where most of our rangers go through a wide variety of training sessions and is also used for special occasions and events. From the training area in Camp 15 that we've just shown you, this is our other larger training area, which also doubles up as a shooting range.
enjoyed a brief tour of our camp here in Pundundu. Today, we'll be joined by Chef Susan, who is the head chef here at our Pundundu camp. Chef Susan, do you mind giving us an introduction into yourself and what you're going to cook for us here today? Okay, thank you, Yarai. Uh, I've been here for about two years doing this cooking class. Uh, and now I, I, I've been groomed here uh, to become a better chef. So today I'm going to make the nugget and bean soup. Uh, this for you. So I'll show you how my, re my recipe will go. Uh, I'll start with sada, as you are looking here. Um, when you are making sada, we start by boiling our water. You put your water here, then you boil it. After it gets boiled, then you apply it. Uh, Milly meal. This is our milly meal, a uh, crunch from the maize we grow. Then we put it under water water. Then we mix it well until it gets a uh, thick, uh, so that you will produce bubbling action while it is boiling. Then after that, you just wait for uh, at least a uh, ten minutes just to let it finish. Then after that, you apply. Uh, the millimeter again to make it thicker so that you can manage to to make the balls that you want to to make for the nugget so here is what you are going to see when you put millimeter and uh, you just see also there is very thick then after that when you, you see that your also there is very nice you remove you remove it from the gas then put it aside so that it, it can get cold. Mm. Then I'm putting it aside so that I'll manage to do my balls then. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the vegetables that you'll be using for making the sadhana nuggets? Yes. yes. So yes. what our audience needs to know is for the first thing they need is the mealy meal, this one, the traditional mealy meal, mealy meal which yes. we make into sadhana. Yes. So that's the first step for our audience just watching mm -hmm. is the first preparing the mealy meal here. Um, which we've got in a bowl here, which you then put in with water and just stir until it thickens. And then from there, you'll be able to make what Chef Susan calls a sadza bowl. So now she's just going to walk us through the next step of her recipe and show us what the next process is. So, yeah. Chef Susan. The next process is my vegetables. Uh, we have to chop it first, chop it nicely so that it will be... Uh, a little more that you can fry it. Here are my vegetables. And uh, when you, you finish chopping it, you apply a little bit of oil in your pan so that you can fry your vegetables. Then, after you see your, your oil is very hot mm -hmm. enough to fry your vegetables, then you apply it. Then, show you how to apply it. Mm -hmm. So these are the vegetables you're preparing for, for the nugget. For the nuggets. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here are the vegetables. Yep. You just look. It's very chopped. Yeah. Well nicely. Yes. Then you apply it. Just look. I'm already getting hungry just watching this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then this So nice how many thing. minutes do we need to do this process for with um, stirring the vegetables. When do we know that they're ready? Okay, you can uh, wait until maybe three minutes mm -hmm. to be fine. Mm -hmm. Then look, then we apply. So three salt. minutes of stirring the vegetables and these other ingredients here, or just the vegetables on Just for the vegetables only. Okay. So that's okay. three minutes of just the vegetables. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then we apply a little bit of salt here. Mm -hmm. So that you taste good, mm -hmm. not too much. Then you mix it on. Just look. Mm -hmm. And your vegetables will remain green. Don't cook it so that you will lose the taste. Yes, that's important to maintain that nutritious value that we get out of them. Yeah. So then you can see they are really cooked well. Then after that, we remove the, the vegetables on mm -hmm. the fire, mm -hmm. then put it aside mm -hmm. so that it gets cold. 
so that you can manage to put it mm -hmm. uh, uh, on the feather nugget you want to make. So, so yeah. walk us through, this is now the next step after we've made our vegetables for the sadza nuggets. Yeah. Now explain to us about how these beans fit into your recipe and how you make them and what the next step is here on. Okay, I really like beans. Uh, to work as a soup, yeah, is it straight from, straight from the garden, just see it straw. Mm -hmm. Then you put in a, first you soak it, you wash it very nicely. Mm -hmm. Then after that, you put in a in a pot mm -hmm. with water, mm -hmm. then make it boil. Mm -hmm. When it is done, mm -hmm. then you remove your beans mm -hmm. here. So what is the name of this vegetable here, just so our audience can know what this one is called? Okay, this is called, uh, we call it rugari here, then mm -hmm. other call it biscuit. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you for that. Okay, you can look, this is my beans. So this is what the beans will look like after we've taken them through the process that you've just explained us. So this is what they look like before the process, and this is what they look like after. Yes. Is that correct? Okay, awesome. Yes. Okay, so I want to make bean sauce. Mm -hmm. So we are putting them in, in a soup. Mm -hmm. So you apply a little bit of oil. Mm -hmm. Don't mind. mind. <laughs> yeah. Now, okay. Oh. Then, when you see your oil is very heated, mm -hmm. then you apply uh, onions. Mm -hmm. Here we got. So you've got two types of onions here. Yeah. 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 Uh, we got white onion and the red onion. Okay. You chop it nicely. Yeah. Just look. It will look like this. Yeah. When it's not. Uh, so these are the onions before they've been chopped. Yeah. Yes. And are these from our garden? Yes. These are from our garden, everyone. Awesome. Then um, my oil is now ready. Yes. I'll put all the onions here. I will first put onions because it takes time to to be cooked mm -hmm. than tomatoes. Okay. So I'll use this one first. Yes. You can see them you mix it well so that you won't burn. Then so how long do we need to um, fry our onions for? Uh, maybe three minutes. Three minutes as well. Yeah, yeah. cool. Then I'll, I'll, I'll apply salt. Okay, so just uh, a bit of salt. Yeah. Then put some more. And any other spices that you'll be adding to this? No. no? Okay. I, I want to be to cook it naturally. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Then make sure you check how put each and every time so that you're not going to to burn. Mm -hmm. After you show your onions are ready, mm -hmm. then you apply of course the peppers. The pepper is here for flavoring. So you've got yellow pepper, we've got red pepper, and we've got green peppers here. Yeah, yeah. they look like this. Mm -hmm. And again, these are from our garden, are they? Yes, they awesome. are from our garden. Yeah. I might have to come do a bit of shopping in our garden. You guys seem to have all the vegetables. So you can come. Yeah. Then, after you say your onions are, are ready, mm -hmm. they mine. Mm -hmm. Then you apply all the peppers that you have. Mm -hmm. Here is it. Mm -hmm. Then you mix it. I want to increase the heat. Okay. I think you are peeling. My papers are going well. Mm -hmm. Then after you see your, your papers yes. are nicely cooked, you can apply your tomatoes. Okay. So tomatoes are the very last thing we apply once everything is cooked. We put yeah. our spices, we put all yeah. our all onions and our papers. Okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That's right. Just a little bit. Okay. So that my papers will be well cooked. So can you remind our audience again what's the name of this recipe you're making again while we wait for our vegetables this day again? Okay, my recipe is for the nugget and bean soup. And the nugget and salad. Okay. A cucumber salad, as you can see. Mm -hmm. This is our cucumber. Yes. Yeah. All right, awesome. So for anyone that missed that, um, she is making for us here today, salad nuggets and bean soup. So just a reminder, um, 
of what she's doing with this with the salsa that she made initially that was made from the mealy meal which she's then going to put into bowls and put the vegetables inside and have a nice relish on the side to serve with that as well as a salad so i'm excited to to taste what it tastes like when it's all prepared okay while my pot is on fire yes i will just do the side and i get a one juice okay go with here yes so my side is cold now yes you can see okay so it has to be that thick paste yeah. for the salsa nuggets um to come out correct yes. okay so i'll um, just apply cooking oil so that the salsa will not stick to my hand okay so it's interesting to see salsa being made this way because i think everyone is so used traditionally to having it just the one way in which it's made so i'm quite excited to see how you make these salsa balls because i've never tried salsa balls myself yeah, yeah. As you can see, mm -hmm. it's a nice bowl. Yes. Then you open it on the middle. Okay. And do like this. Then you apply the vegetables that you cook. Here. Yeah. You can apply the vegetables. Let's leave it. Mm -hmm. check the moment. Yep. This seems to be doing well. So while you're applying the vegetables, that's, is that the only thing that goes into our okay. nuggets? On this, yes. Okay. Uh, I want to put beans. Okay. So let's put goes over. When I'm... Wow. As you can see, I'm using my soup with beans. Yes. So that you get the flavor of the pea pie. Yes. And the toast. Then just like nicely. Awesome. As you can see. And so how long do we need to leave this to simmer for when we've put in our beans? Maybe five minutes. Five minutes? Okay. okay. Just close it. Simmer. And we're back with okay. our, yeah. So it's just the vegetables that we're applying inside the salsa nuggets? Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Like yeah. this. And after that, you close it mm -hmm. and roll it. Mm -hmm. so and for our audience watching here today, can they use any type of vegetable they like to put in the yeah. salsa nuggets? Yeah, every 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 vegetable you have. Yes. Even even chunks you have it. Okay. You can apply it. Okay. Nice. Then what do I? Then you can see this is my my nuggets. Yes. Then I wanna do the next one. So how did again. you come up with this um, interesting recipe? Is it something that you came up with on your own or something you saw somewhere and wanted to replicate? Tell us a bit about that. Uh, uh, I have seen it on my chef, my head chef who took me to cook. Okay. I have seen it and uh, I see it in, as a quick meal Yes. when you are late and it's very easy because yes. the ingredients are, are less yes. and they are from our garden, they are much expensive too. Yes. That's why I came up with this recipe. Yeah. I really like it because it's really it's 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 tasting good when I taste it myself doing it. And can you tell us as well about the kind of beans we're using today? What sort of beans are we using today? Uh today we are using sugar beans. Sugar beans. Yeah. Okay, these awesome. Beans. And these again are from our garden, these sugar beans. Yes. Yeah. And does this recipe work with any kind of different beans or does it need to be the sugar beans you've just mentioned here? Yeah. Okay, you can use it in any soup, any sauce you want. Okay, you can use it. Even green peas, even green beans, any soup you want. Awesome. Just checking on how it's going, looks good. So I think my soup is ready. Mm -hmm. Nice and salt. Then after that, mm -hmm. we will move it. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind, I will listen to that. Sure. <coughs> Short <Shortly>. here. <laughs> So those are the vegetables that are doing there. Yes. Can I smell why I'm still doing? Yeah. Okay. No, 
रखे हैं And so now that we've done the beans, they're ready. What is the next step for our audience now? The next step is our nuggets. Mm -hmm. So I want to show you mm -hmm. how I'm doing this nuggets. So. Okay. So this is the process where you talked that you deep fry the nuggets that you've just added um, yes. there. Okay. Then you put your oil so that you can deep fry it well. I think now. Mm -hmm. Then for this nuggets, get this first, mm -hmm. this bread bread crumb. Bread crumbs. Ah, oh, so that's what gives it that nice crunchy taste as well, is it? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Then a plate when it goes or any plate you have. Okay. Then after that, spread it nicely. Then apply your bowl. Mm -hmm. It's looking <clears throat> what I'm doing. Apply your bowl, roll it twelve hours so that. Mm -hmm. So do you need to do anything else to the um sadza bowl for the breadcrumbs to stick or just they tend to stick on their own with the texture of the sadza? Yes, yeah, it's to stick to the texture of the sadza. Okay. Yeah, like this. Okay. Then you put aside and do the another one. Why you mm -hmm. your oil while you're waiting for our oil to heat. Yeah. And how hot exactly do you need this um Oil to get very very hot or just very very hot. Relatively so that, hot? Um, very very hot. So that when you put your, you want to take long. Okay. To be well cooked. Okay. Yeah. Do as many as you want according to your people you were eating. Mm -hmm. <coughs> And so generally with the ingredients we have here today, how many people can we feed from the ingredients we have today and typically the sudza bowls you'd have um, made for us today? How many people could this potentially feed? Uh, I could feed um, four people. Four people from the ingredients we have today? Yeah. Pretty good. Okay, I think this is the maximum mm -hmm. of wheat. Uh, you can make it smooth. So smooth. this one here, you say it's probably the maximum size. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Almost there. Almost there. Yeah. Do I need to step away? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me use this. So that's yeah. Flash out. Okay, and there we have it. The yeah. first one is in. Yes. Just look what the oil is doing. Yeah. And now, how long do we need to keep these? Um, sadza bowls or nuggets in this pan for before they're ready. Uh, they're going to keep it maybe ten minutes mm -hmm. until it's it's golden brown. Golden brown, okay. Yeah. The smell is making me hungry already. <laughs> and so how often do we make this recipe here in camp? Um, every every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Yeah. That's a day to visit camp to make sure I'm here every Tuesday so I can enjoy this meal. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think you're doing well. Mm -hmm. When you finish it, mm -hmm. it will be like this. This one. Wow. Look at that nice golden brown color that we get from keeping them in there for 10 minutes. Yeah. 
and obviously making sure we have the right amount of crumbs around them as we're rolling them before we put them in there. Yeah. Wow, that's they need to look like this. Very nice. As you can see. Mm. Then after that. And while we are cooking this recipe, can you talk to us about the other plant-based um, meals? We do cook for ranges here um, and how you go about that. Because this isn't the only recipe that we do have. Of course, we have a range of them. And with the garden that we do have with all the vegetables, there's, I imagine, quite a lot of recipes that we do make for our ranges. Okay. And for the recipes we have here, uh, with our plant-based comment, we have mushroom, cooked mushroom here, mm -hmm. a salad with mushroom, mm -hmm. vegetables. So the same salad here that we're making today, but it's served yeah. in a completely different way and served with um, salad, you, you say? Yes. A, for salad with mushroom, we are not going to fry it. We are just cook it like what I do, I do when it's thicker. Mm -hmm. Then you remove it. Then you cook the mushroom and vegetables. And vegetables you have because uh, we have a uh, covo, mm -hmm. we have cabbages, we have sort of good sort of veggies that we have. Then you apply it, then it, it will be a dish. Then here we have um, a bolognese. Mm -hmm. Then bolognese recipe, it's all about a uh, uh, pasture, mm -hmm. the spaghetti mm -hmm. that you have, and spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Then you boil your spaghetti well, mm -hmm. then after it, it is finished, it is well cooked, mm -hmm. you put it aside, then you apply a um, soy chunk that comes from soya bean. Then after that, you rest it well mm -hmm. until it gets golden brown, mm -hmm. then you remove it. Then we have a uh, also sauce that we have, uh, we have. Bigger sauces, we have nice sauces that you can use on the on the bologna. Mm -hmm. After you finish all the, the cooking that you were doing, then you apply the chunks inside the spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Then after you apply it to mix well, then you apply the sauces. You apply even the vegetables that you need so that it's really green because you love green here. Mm -hmm. Then you can serve the people. You have a lot of, of recipes. I want to share awesome. one. Thank you for sharing um, some of those different meals that we do have here in camp. I think it's always good to have an understanding of what different options are available for plant-based meals. Because I think sometimes we think we're so limited when it comes to vegetables and that it always has to be the same thing. But I think hearing what you've just said, it's possible to have a variety of different dishes that are still plant-based and still provide good nutrition for us. So thank you for sharing that with us, um, Chef Susan. You're welcome. I think so now I'm once they're done, done um, I'm going to show you how to dish it. Okay. Then you are done. Wipe our plate and wash your hands. Okay. When it's uh, golden brown, mm -hmm. then the beans. The bean sauce. Yeah. So this is what those beans that we had in the pot will look like once they've yeah. come to, to once they're done. Yeah. Okay. That's really, really, really good to have them looking like that. That's really awesome. Can't wait yeah. to try that. Mm -hmm. So delicious. <laughs>
And so what salad have you made for us today here? It's a cucumber salad. Uh-huh. You can see? Yes. Yes. Uh, tomato is here. Yes. Cucumber. Yes. And the onion. And so I'd imagine that um, there's different options we can also explore with the salad to have it on the side with our meal here today. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Can you then apply cabbage salad mm -hmm. with lemon juice? Mm -hmm. You can even apply a fruit salad and salad you want. This looks delicious, Chef Susan. Now we want to wash our hands. And, and so this is the recipe done. Yes. And sweat it looks like when you're done. So this all is possible under 30 minutes, Chef Susan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so because we did have some of our ingredients that were pre-cooked um it may have seemed a bit shorter but this can be prepared within 30 minutes so if you often have a busy day um and just need something quick to prepare chef susan has just shown us that that is possible just under 30 minutes so i can't wait to taste okay, okay i'll wash my hands first do you have a drink okay. Awesome, thank you. Mm -hmm. And I can wash your hands as well. Right. Yeah. I think we might remove our pot here before we get carried away <laughs> digging in. We don't want to burn these lovely nuggets okay. here. All right, so you're going to have to show me how to eat this because I've never tried this meal before, so I'm excited to see how we eat it. And I'm sure our audience is just as curious to know how we pair this um, nice recipe up together to get the most out of the taste that you've prepared here today. Okay. So cutting the, cutting it in half. Wow. Thanks today. Just fold it in there. Put it in. Dip it in the. Okay. See how we roll it up. So we dip it in a bit like that. Okay. And then you taste. Yeah. Bon appetit. Ah. Mmm. Mmm. This is chef's dough, mm. have a salad, mm. and the veggies, mm -hmm. and your bean soup. Mm. This is really good. Mm. And the good thing for er anyone who might be worried about all the cooking oil you used is actually hasn't been absorbed that much. It's quite, you know, it's not, it's not too oily. It's really good. I, I was a bit worried about that, but. Okay. It tastes really good. Yeah. Mm. Hello. Hey guys. How are you? Hi, good, good. Are you guys joining us? Hey, what are you? Are you? Why have we? What Chef Hello. Susan has prepared for us here today. Um, Sadza nuggets with a bean sauce and her salad. So I'll let her talk a little bit more about it and just Okay, this has a nugget um, come from the mini meal, you know, yeah. the maize, you know, mm -hmm. and you crush it, then you cook like salsa, and after you finish salsa, you take it aside so that you can get cold. After that, take the salsa, you fry your vegetables just a little bit, then you remove it and get cold. Then for the salsa, we 
throw it into a small bowl, then put the veggies on the middle. After that, you put in a bread crumbs, you roll it nicely so that it will contain these crumbs. After that, you put in a dip, a cooking oil, the wash oil, then deep fry it. Well, there you have it, everyone. A very, very simple recipe to replicate. Chef so Susan has gone through us with the different ingredients that you can use to make that. Um, most of them are easily accessible. But if you have any questions about any of the ingredients, please feel free to let us know. We will be providing a full list of the ingredients um, Chef Susan has just provided with us here today and possibly where to find um, the traditional mealy meal that she has used in her recipe today. So thank you so much for joining us for this cooking session and a live tour of our camp here in Pundundu. And from our team here today, we just want to thank you and wish you a good evening, good afternoon, and good morning wherever you are joining from, wherever you're joining from today. Thank you. Just I'd like to send a personal thank you to all our donors out there that have supported us, all the people that follow us, uh, and all the people that are that are taking an interest in nature conservation. We thank you all Agashinga donors for the job that you are doing, especially when we are looking at the protection of wildlife and the nature conservation. I'm, I'm feeling blessed about you donors. I'm feeling so, so excited. I'd like to thank you so much. Because I don't know how to express my feelings right now. We are protecting these animals so that our next generation will be able to see animals like elephants, zebras, and lions. All the donations help us to keep protecting the, the wildlife here in Akashing. We are doing our job greatly because of you. We are protecting our nature because of your support. Without you, you are nothing. You are nothing. We have been able to accomplish our job. We have managed to take care of our wildlife. We have managed to change our lives. With that, I am grateful. That's why we are doing all our best to protect this natural environment. Donations are helping us to keep up our job. It makes me proud to be part of a team that uh, is supporting all these rangers that are out there protecting nature and all the animals that are that are within these uh, wilderness areas and the communities that surround them. Uh, our, our future as a civilization is directly dependent on our willingness to preserve biodiversity. For everything you are giving us to do our job and to make our job easier. For all your donations. We are happy as the Akashinga Rangers. I'm so happy. We are doing our job greatly and we are we are doing it perfectly because of you. Without you, we are nothing. So we thank you, all donors, for the job that you are doing. We really appreciate your kindness. It means a lot to us. We are doing the job well because of your donations. I'd like to send a very big thank you on behalf of myself and the entire team at IAPF that makes our frontline conservation efforts a reality. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep the fire burning.